Okay, part 31. We're learning more about torture than I had hoped to in this game. And, uh, yeah. My sanity is dot 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 right now, and it's making shit a bit more difficult for me. At least I can control a little better now, but... I don't like the sanity being fucked up. Look what it does to the paintings. Do whatever it takes. And Daniel's all talking now. Okay, my sanity just got a little bit better, but... I can't really run well if I need to. And now there's a body in there that I don't think was in there before. How many are there? Are there three? Because there's like three doors, so I wonder if each one will have someone in it when I come out. I don't know. Oh, it's going to mess up the sanity a bit more, I guess. Please, no monsters in any of these. Oh, that looks really, really bad. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Oh, that's the same guy whenever you go into that one prison cell. And he's like, it wasn't my fault. Why would he run back in there? The house is on fire. It wasn't my fault. So that's that guy. So these people are actually, I think these people are innocent. Oh man, this hallway is long and dark. I don't think they're quite the monsters they're being made out to be. Here, I'll light one more of these. Although I'm starting to get a bit low on tinder boxes, which I don't like. Okay, let's just go. Oh god. Oh, this looks really bad. No, no please! I'll do anything! Whatever you want! Anything. Do anything. I'm oh God! Is this about to fuck my sanity up again? Probably. Ooh! Thought I heard the ringing. Piece of orb. I don't like this place at all. I guess I'll go ahead and click it, even though it's probably going to fuck my sanity up again. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method, it was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. The fuck does that mean? Why are they even doing all Oh, they need the blood, I think. Okay, I still have a little bit of sanity. Let's put a little bit more oil in. They won't stay together. A tough string made from hemp. Nice. Let's smoke it. Uh, I don't like this area. These torture areas are really kind of getting to me like just such a bad vibe, it's making me uncomfortable. Okay, it looks like we might only have one more door in here. Please let this almost be over in this room. I cannot stand this room. Uh. I just hear crying and shit. Sounds bad. Whoa. Oh, I hear a guy being sawed. That's someone being sawed in half. My God. Are you kidding me? That was someone being fucking sawed in half. 
Oh my lord, that is just horrible. This is horrible. Oh, my sanity's all fucked. Oh my god. That's what we were just hearing. My god, man. Look at that. Wow, that just brought me back to crystal clear all the way from dot dot dot. I guess that's all the orb pieces that are in here. Oh man, how many are there? God, this is horrible. Oh, there's the saw too. Get that away from me. The rapist hung, hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The man stepped back and waited for, the men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Jesus. That's just super. How's the sanity after that one? Still okay. Sorry, I need a cigarette after this. There's not all the monsters popping out at me right now, but... For some reason it's, it seems worse, though. People's pain just... Monsters are scary and chasing you, but people's pain is just horrible. Oh. Okay. Jar. The blood cannot be reached. Find a way to lower the vessel to collect the blood. Find something to help lower the glass jar into the blood in the transept torture room. Oh, duh. Here we go. There we go. And now I have a slight headache for some reason. Glass jar on a string. God, I don't want a tortured man's fucking blood. Last jar of blood. Alright, I want out of this room. Like, out of the transept. I'm just, I'm gonna sprint out. I'm just sprinting out. If a gatherer pops out, then a gatherer pops out. I'm not stopping. I am not stopping. I just want out of here. Oh, God. What's happening? The shadow? I'm gonna stand at this door. Oh fuck. I just want to see if anything happens. Looks okay. The thick liquid spread across his tongue. He swallowed excessively to consume every drop. He looked through the window at the widespread forest and the morning sun. Will this ever end, he thought. I'm not getting any jump out scares right now because everything's been pretty well lit so far. heard the splashing like all the way out here I don't like that at least I haven't had any gatherers for a while except that one bone and blood can't add anything directly into the blood the substance needs to be purified first okay no more scary stuff. Is there something else? You seem to have found all the orb pieces used in the transfer. Go to the choir and find the rest. I don't want to. The remaining orb pieces can be found in the choir. There's gonna be gathers in there. I haven't seen one in way too long. I don't want to. Me, powerful. Not so very I hope to. I've done all that I can to escape this prison, but now I use all my strength merely to stay alive. I'm really curious as to what this is. My pupil, Johann Weyer, said he found a way to take me with him beyond the stars. But I was too afraid to come alone. Seriously. And now, 
All I can do. There's got to be some gathers in here. And I'm getting low on tender boxes, which I do not like. Crystal clear. Oh man. Look at this. There's a door here. At least there's an exit right here. Did I just hear something? At least this video is almost over. Oh man, I don't want to go in here. How is it? How am I still so scared? You think I'd be desensitized to the gatherers by now, or, or the? I don't know. It's just, it's not getting any less. It's not getting any easier. Agrippa channels Wire. Wire taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and still he insists on me releasing Agrippa. How an enlightened man can show such lack of compassion in a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa, as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. Wire claims he tries his best to release me from my banishment but that he needs me to give him Agrippa first so he too can help. If he could guarantee success, I would happily oblige, but how am I to part from him if my return might be denied? I know what they are capable of, I have seen their deception. Optimism is a most hopeless feeling, but I must retain it. I shall prepare for his release. To release Agrippa without killing him, Ware told me to feed him a tonic made from a paralyzer, vitae, and tamter. The poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the internal gland from a large specimen. Okay, from a mushroom. The choir seems to be a fertile grounds for this sort. Okay, that's where I'm about to go. I should then be able to extract its contents with the proper tools. The vitae could be extracted as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. So we got that. I just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. God. Tamter, on the other hand, will prove more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's a property of the secretion and the water delling kernk. I will have to address Weyer with this as he will have to supply me with a host. Also, a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Hmm. That's what the bone is. A secretion from a water monster. Okay, health. Any tinder boxes in here at all? I just don't want any gatherers to come into the area. Fuck you. Give me some more tinder boxes or some oil. Take that. In court, the Order of the Black Eagle spew their politics at each other while I sit quietly in place, willfully forgotten. Once in a while, someone will notice me and lose themselves in a silent cower before regaining their senses. They all know I am the one and the same Alexander, okay, so there you go, who helped their fathers and grandfathers to find this great order. I've seen them take their fathers' places, and they too will grow old and pass away. Will I remain the same, aged not by time, but by anguish? What are you, sir? Let's go bring that note to Agrippa. I only have like a minute left, but that's the thing he was asking for. Dad, good to see. Incredible. You found Vile's recipe. That there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate, then. Please, find the ingredients and prepare the tonic via disguise. And do so before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the ore, you won't be able to save me. And give me a second chance. But so does Alexander. That's why he keeps me here. 
As a hostage, hoping Ryan will reveal himself.